Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. It is day three of Before I Rise. And again, the struggle was real. And maybe it's because I'm up late. I'm always up late working on um, various projects, but I am here with my tea, a fresh face, fresh breath, and a fresh top. Normally I said a tea, but this is my kingdom chic sweatshirt. I was a little chilly today. I'm gonna stir up my sugar because I'm gonna sip on this for a little bit. Um, and so if you're just joining me for the first time and you miss video one and two, I'll have links in the description down below where you can follow. And hopefully I can get through this. I'm still feeling that, that morning voice, the morning voice. But I wanted to get in to um, the devotion. Let me show you. I am doing the Bishop Jakes, There Is More To You. And I'm on day three. There is more to you. And it says four, day, four days missed because I decided I had um, wanted to do my devotion on it. So I had already started it and then I went back. And that is from the Version Bible app. And day three, we are going to, let's see. And with just a review, what it does is it gives you a devotion and then it gives you some scriptures to back up the story. So I am... I think I'm doing, yes, Isaiah 55 and 8. And this one, it it took me a minute to get the, the point. So I definitely wrote down um, some things that I wanted to say because I was not get the, to get an understanding of what it was trying to tell me, to tell me. And again, as I said in my other um, videos, this is just, I'm just sharing what I'm hearing through the word for me for today, not for you, the church, not prophesying to anybody. This is just what I got out of today's lesson. Let me take this is one of my favorite cups. So that I don't know if it says the same thing on the other side, but it reads this is a reminder that you can handle whatever this week throws at you. And this is from Teresa Collins. And I tried to not let it boil all the way to the point where the teapot whistles. And yes, I do have a tea kettle that whistles. Um, I still like those kind of teapots, but it's still hot. I could have just put a hose in my mouth, but then I didn't want to talk with the hose banging against my teeth. All right, let's go because I'm going to be late. So yesterday I started at 6.22 and then today it is 6.29 and I need to get up out of here. So I am going to read Isaiah 55, two verses, yeah, two verses from the list that I just showed you and I'm reading out of the NIV version. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. It's a very familiar scriptures. I'm going to see, let me see what the message Bible says. I don't think the way you think, the way you work, isn't the way I work. God's decree. For as the sky soars high above the earth, so the way I work surpasses the way you work. And the way I think beyond the way you think. Just as the rain and snow descend from the skies and don't go back until they've watered the earth, doing their work of making things grow and blossom, producing seed for farmers and food for the hungry, so will the words that come out of my mouth not come back empty-handed. They'll do the work I sent them to do. They'll complete the assignment I gave them. And that was from the, and I, that was from the, message, um, the message Bible. And the title of oops, the title of today's um, morning devotion is. It just showed me. Oh, there is more than you is uh, moving beyond the truth once you know. Okay, and in this passage, um, we open up with Jesus talking to the disciples after he had been crucified and came back, 
and he presented himself to the disciples and revealed his true self to them that um, they had to now rely on having Jesus right there to teach them and to going out into the world and relying on the Holy Spirit to teach them. So they had to go from, and I just, as I was just talking, so they had to go from, you know how when you're in school, you go through grades K through 12, and then after 12th grade, you, you go to college, and after college, then you're out there, boom, to do your career, to work your career. And um, what I got out of this is that when you're with your teacher, when they were with Jesus, who they often called Rabbi, when they were with him in his teaching, they they depended heavily on him. So now Jesus is at the point that, okay, now you have to take what I taught you all this time that I was here, this little bit of time that I was here on earth. Now you have to go out into the actual world and utilize it. So you have to take what I gave you and then now you have to put it into action. But I'm not going to be there for you to do that. So now you have to go to the next level of education. So now you have to go from elementary school to high school or a college by depending on a new professor, the Holy Spirit. God just gave me that because that is not what I wrote down on paper. So now you have to go from elementary school. And I think one of the versions and one of the other scriptures said something about elementary teaching. And it didn't hit me until just now. So you go from elementary school to high school, depending on a different type of teacher. Going to college, depending on yet another different type of teacher, depending on the Holy Spirit when it comes down to the word. So you're depending on the Holy Spirit um, within. So you have to be able to determine, all right, is this coming from me or is this coming from the Holy Spirit? So you have to make yourself ready to receive from the Holy Spirit. You have to open up your heart, open up your mind, open up your ears so that you can differentiate from your voice from the Holy Spirit's voice and then carry out that which you were taught um, from your first teacher. So that um, that just came to me because what I actually wrote down was I was thinking about medical school and um, nursing school when you are learning uh, from your teacher and then you go and you have your externship or your internship and then you're working on, um, first you're working on a dummy, you're taking what you learned on a textbook, textbook knowledge, you're going into the classroom to work it on a, um, a mannequin or, or a dummy, I forgot what they actually call it. And then you go from there to your internship where you're actually working on a physical patient. You're actually following a different type of teacher and you're learning what you learned on the textbook and how you're actually applying it to real life. And that was what I had actually wrote on the paper. Um, and then God just gave me the um, relation between high school, elementary school, high school, and college, which is awesome. Um, and so from that, and this is actually going to be short because I'm actually done. I was thinking you have to learn. You have to. Oh, we don't grow if we don't learn. And so... The, the last statement that I actually put is the more you know, the more you grow. So when it um, comes to the word, the more you study it, the more you take it in, the more you're going to grow spiritually. And so we have to make time for that. Like before I rise, you have to make time to spend time with God and learn about his word and learn about his way so that when we go out into the world, we are able to carry that out there. We are able to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us. So when we, we are, we're driving and we want to go, you know, one way, and the Holy Spirit says, no, don't go that way, go this way. Or when we have an encounter with someone and you start to say a specific thing and the Holy Spirit is like, no, say this. Um, so learning from the Holy Spirit and learning from um, and learning to lean on him during our outer parts, taking what we learn from our, our inner time with God and then going out and into the world and sharing what we learn and teaching what we learn um, via the Holy Spirit. All right, so that is all I actually have for you guys. I didn't even get a second sip of tea. Um, so if you like this video, make sure you click the like, com and like button and then make a comment. Subscribe to my channel for, um, I basically do crafting stuff, but um, I am on a seven day challenge and this is just day three. 
Um, and I'm trying to get up earlier. I'm really trying, which means I have to stop working earlier. And there's the birds, y'all. These birds, these birds, they get so loud. One time I was actually yelling at them. And then um, during this, this whole corona situation, when I heard they were like going back and forth, back and forth. And I said, they must be praying protection over me, over my house. That's how I have to take it so that I stop yelling and banging on the window for them to move away. <laughs> to move away, y'all. That's just how I think. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on day three. Um, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave me a comment down below. And stay tuned for day four. See ya.